morning good afternoon and good evening uh, my name is deepak uh, i'm part of uh, how to manage devices community and uh, uh, today we are uh, trying to cover uh, uh, advanced level uh, patch patching and uh, troubleshooting uh, al- uh, along with my uh, colleague kanan cs and uh, we will be uh, i have few uh, uh, slides to share but uh, uh, just like the other sessions uh, uh we will not be putting it as uh, uh, just the uh, trainer talking or uh, the dictator talking we will be uh, having a uh, interactive session because uh, 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 we want to hear a lot of uh, questions during the uh, during the uh, training and uh, i i mean so during the session and uh, uh, you would like to uh, get it clear uh, as a live troubleshooting in this session itself i have uh, uh, received uh, all the uh, resources for this Wait, and uh, i'm sorry uh, what's the what uh, uh, let me just yeah i just did mute all and uh, and now it's good yeah so uh, sorry about that so uh, we will be we are trying to cover this and uh, uh, we'll be taking live questions if you have any uh, 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 questions in between please interrupt uh, uh, and ask uh, or if you can uh, probably parallelly go to the chat uh, my associates are uh, uh, will be replying parallelly to your uh, questions in chat and uh, i want to say my colleagues uh, will be replying <laughs> not as with you sorry and uh, and yeah let's start so uh, let me see if i'm able to uh, share my desktop so hey uh, b- before before we start thank you so much sir for the the uh, one more option uh, enabling for us for the job uh, that's that's really helpful actually uh, in uh, how to manage device so yeah i'm expecting less and less job opportunities coming <laughs> because probably people are like um, happy with the existing job or because of some uh, global conditions so yeah i hope it it will be helpful that, that, that's why right. i i think uh, 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 we uh, like it's going to take to uh, probably one or two months uh, when we can uh, come back to the normal state uh, after the vaccine uh, coming out but yes so that uh, a really move good move uh, at the place of touching here and there uh, 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 we are replying to uh, someone and uh, we can just switch the tab to jobs and see what all the open open positions yeah. so uh, thank you for that so uh, everybody uh, my my uh, uh, are you able to see my screen i love your background Yeah, Deepak. We are able to see your screen now. Yes. This is this is our uh, our uh, logo. Uh, I want to say our uh, community logo. So uh, I was not able to stretch it all at once, so I made it scattered all over the place. <laughs> so, so yeah, thank you, thank you for confirmation. And uh, uh, now uh, with that, uh, let me just. open our uh, ppt and see where we are so uh, patch deployment and uh, troubleshooting advanced level uh, anup already shared this uh, these are all our pages anupcni.com how to manage devices.com and forum.howtomanagedevices.com and as he uh, already said this is uh, last session but uh, it doesn't end here you can still go to forum.howtomanagedevices.com and you can paste your uh, post your questions uh either related to this session or uh, if, you, if you forgot to ask any questions uh, during this session you can uh, uh you can still go to the forum and you can uh, you can correlate saying that uh, uh, in the last session uh, this was the uh, doubt and uh, i want to know more and uh, we'll be definitely uh, uh, trying to help with the average response time is uh, really good actually uh, since four or four or five minutes max uh and uh, yeah so uh, as i have already highlighted in bold like and share our page so <laughs> thank you so uh, 
uh, this is uh, uh, this time uh, uh, though we say advanced level but uh, the white papers we are uh, putting it up here uh, i got it from uh, my earlier mentors it's a, it's a very old trick but uh, 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 no matter how many uh, uh, versions you change or uh, how many uh, uh, infrastructures you manage this remains constant i i never uh, i never saw this uh, changing in uh, 15 years uh, uh, probably uh, that might be a, a correct decision for uh, only for me but i thought of uh, taking it up into this uh, today's session so as it says before getting into the actual troubleshooting it is important to uh, find out what uh, it may be seems obvious and what you understood what you are experiencing and how 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 soon you uh, uh, get it out on uh, papers uh, that much easier it becomes for your troubleshooting and uh, and uh, this is how we do it uh, so what specifically is not working and or what is your goal what you are trying to do you should uh, uh understand uh what is the frequency of this issue uh, or if it is a problem still happening or it, uh, it is the intermediate and it comes and goes uh, uh you can you can uh, note that too if it's uh, if it's coming at a specific interval or a specific times uh how how do you, how you came to know about this particular problem either by logs or you uh, you saw your uh, monitoring tab and you saw everything is red and uh, nothing is working so that that can be the one more uh, uh, question and uh, uh, was it people, working before uh, sorry i think there are a lot of people in the chat saying like your sound is bit low uh, uh, i can hear you properly without uh, any issue but uh, that is because um, I, i increased my volume uh, volume of my speaker headphone so probably that is why but others are complaining probably they are not able to hear you uh, properly or your voice is bit low okay so i don't know uh, we can do something is, about it or not yeah uh, i i think yeah, no, so. voice is uh, volume is okay but the clarity is not good no like, uh, now now is it is it fine now uh, uh, a little bit clear now uh, is it uh, uh, muffled or uh, some from uh, so far or an echo uh, if if and uh, if it be possible like uh, try to keep away the mic okay so okay. it will help you now now is it fine uh, i'm sorry about this uh, uh, i think last time also i uh, i happened <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's it's not yeah. good now before it was good uh, sure. it was okay yeah. but it's it's gone worse now <laughs> okay so uh, so now is it fine right i think i need a uh, i need a uh, 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 higher uh, uh, definition mic which can catch a lot <laughs> as soon as you say something so, Other, uh, otherwise you can just shout like me you uh, you can just shout <laughs> <laughs> i can Yes, I'm sure can. So uh, yeah, I'm sorry for uh, for the trouble, but yes. So uh, as I was saying, mm, uh, has it ever worked uh, uh, before, or if so, uh, when it stopped working, was anything changed in the environment right before it stopped working, or uh, something you did, something your colleagues did? Uh, and uh, it stopped working that is why uh, we we have uh, we also check a uh, couple of times so i think yesterday we were uh, seeing audit log and uh, what the percentage of clients are affected because of that so that is uh, course and based on that you decide what to do uh, is it a swift fix or uh, whatever you are trying to implement okay so uh, what has been already done if some of your uh, uh, colleagues are in different shift and they are also troubleshooting just uh, ask them that they have already tried those things so uh, that's going to save you uh, a lot of time and uh, you can you can skip those steps okay uh, you should uh, know the exact version of the client and the version of the server yeah that's the process this uh, 
I think this line I should uh, strike it out, uh, but uh, it will be good for newbies and uh, was, uh, and, and all these uh, systems are uh, up to date. Um, okay, and uh, what do effect clients have in common? Like, uh, like if they are from the same site or same domain, or uh, what's their physical uh, location? Or geographic location, uh, you can say, or uh, they are reporting the same size. Uh, uh, in fact, so uh, so those questions, yeah, you can you can put and you can get the uh, uh, get to the uh, chase your problem. And uh, for uh, uh, SSM troubleshooting steps for uh, newbies, there is a very good flowchart mentioned here. Uh, SSCM troubleshooting steps uh, on our site, and uh, uh, anyone can go and read that, and it's it's very in depth. And I, I think it's a uh, uh, one hour read, actually, uh, to be specific. And sorry, okay, yeah. So yeah, so I think we are good. So now let's start it. Uh, um, because uh, at the place of uh, dictating and uh, asking and doing, I wanted it to uh, specifically do uh, in our lab, and uh, I got uh, our no lab uh, to uh, scratch it upside down, <laughs> and uh, I got one client also to scratch it up upside down. I hope I can do and. Uh, and we'll be taking it up as a uh, practical uh, at the place of taking theory. I don't want to take it uh, how KB works, how the how it scans, how it comes into the, uh, the console, or how it gets things from WSCS or all those things because uh, 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 that's gonna defeat the purpose of the uh, advanced level uh, troubleshooting, patching and troubleshooting. Okay, so let's see. Now I'm gonna put it up in this way. This is my. This is just a, a one scenario, and uh, 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 can and cannot correlate uh, uh, in your infrastructure. But uh, and I'm just trying to give a, a good highlight on uh, on what is happening, how it is happening. Okay, so. Uh, if you see, this is my uh, management point for uh, MEMCM, and uh, this is my site code MEM. And so I am just validating because uh, 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 before starting, we can see this is uh, we are um, connected to the correct infrastructure. So if you see connected to MEM, uh, and the client is also reporting here, it means uh, uh, we are we have connected. Uh, uh, to the correct client and uh, and the reporting primary server. Uh, if you have two or three hierarchies, I get mixed up every time. I'm uh, triggering something and the client is not uh, responding to that. Later, uh, I come to know. Okay, uh, I was I was checking into the wrong primary. Uh, that was a different hierarchy altogether. Okay, so yeah. So right now the problem here is uh, this is a. Windows 10 uh, box. It is running on uh, Windows 10 19.09. If you see, uh, was a 19.09, and uh, the problem here is the first problem is I'm unable to uh, uh, fetch updates uh, for this particular client. Let me just uh, let me just go to Control and then or uh, we can do it from here too. Updates. Okay. So okay. So uh, now I'm I'm just seeing uh, when the last patch was installed. Okay. So is it visible for everyone? The last time this machine was patched in. Uh, uh, March. Okay. This is this is year three, eleven, twenty-four. I think these are all manual installations. Okay. Twenty-fourth uh, of twenty-fourth of March, isn't it? Yes, sir. That was yes. That is true. Uh, four five five one seven six two. 
installed on 24th so it should uh, give me what it should give me uh, april uh, may uh, patches as uh, missing if we uh, try to fetch the patch right check for updates yes yes okay i'm checking and it says uh, last check today and it says uh, you are up to date uh, uh, but if you if you see the patches are uh, really installed on uh, 24th so what happens to uh, april and may patches so uh, i don't know what is happening and uh, why it's not allowing me probably something is wrong so yeah so where you wanna start it what what you gonna check here how how to find out uh, and all those things so first of all mix it up first of all this is uh, uh, you you don't you don't get to uh, you don't get to see the windows update dot log uh, anyway uh, it, it doesn't move because they have changed the way it gets so get windows update dot log you have to go and uh, type that into parcel and I keep forgetting this command because I'm not used to it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go to PowerShell and I'm gonna I'm gonna type to get the log. Okay. And Windows Update dot log written to desktop Windows Update dot log. It has given me here to check what is happening. And okay, so now in 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 general, actually, SCCM. Uh, why I uh, I love this technology because of. Uh, this logging mechanism okay this is uh, you can you can get each and every information uh, available into the log uh, you don't have to run here and there or uh, any any other, you don't have to be dependent on any other mechanism for uh, finding out what's happening so so you can see when this was 175 so it's it's latest uh, and and what happened uh, when we checked okay so you can see uh, how how uh, uh, we are expecting that to that it to to move but uh, the configurations or the settings have been changed in a way that you cannot move now uh, the uh, after initiating the windows update or log I mean to say, after initiating the Windows update, uh, uh, and the locks will move. That's that's uh, normal. Uh, uh, in our days, when you click, it should uh, do a live uh, uh, movement, and the locks keep rotating to find out. And it was uh, telling what it is doing right now, right? Uh, at the place of that, uh, uh, Microsoft has converted it into a still log, which is uh, uh, which is again helpful, and you can read it uh, 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 line by line. Uh, previously, you have to go and click on pass so that you can uh, you can see what's there into the screen because this keeps moving a lot. Okay. Okay. So now let's go start from the top. Okay, I, I know everybody can, uh, everybody uh, who is available on this call knows uh, how to read log. But, uh, so what extra I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, just enable to look what we are trying to search actually. Okay, because I, I don't know wh what is uh, what is preventing this particular machine to uh, scan uh, against the internet and I'm not able to fetch uh, patches for May 
uh, and it is still uh, uh, it was it was last passed in March. So uh, 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 here is the uh, logs. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, read line by line, but I'm just uh, I'm just scrolling because. Uh, according to me, the recording should be on, and uh, ah, yeah, it is on. And uh, uh, if if we if anyone comes uh, back for this recording, they can see and they can correlate. Okay, so uh, so that is why I started from the top. Okay. So uh, right now, what 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 are we looking for? So first of all, it is uh, it is the agent Windows Update agent, and uh, uh, it is being used by SCM as well as uh, uh, Windows uh, Core components to uh, to get the patch information. And uh, uh, and the SCM and the Windows Update agent is healthy or not? It's our primary responsibility to find out before we can. Uh, uh, we can we can commit anything. So so oops. so uh, let let us see that. Okay. Now I'm gonna see if uh, Windows Update Service is running. Okay. So Windows Update. Windows Update. Yeah, it's running. And Expand, or yeah, that, that that's fine. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just change it automatic. I'm gonna just stop it, and I'm gonna start it again. This is yeah, uh, it's not uh, you guys expected, but yes, uh, sometimes. So and see if it is anything moving. Nothing. Okay, good. So we yeah. are good. So now. At the place of uh, okay, so yeah, so we uh, if you know okay, so if you notice we we just restarted the service and to see if it is moving so if you can see the now the logging uh, uh, mechanism it has changed uh, and it is uh, it is uh, i'm sorry what's the question uh, let me just let me just uh, go here and mute uh, yeah so okay so nah, yeah we are good now so uh, so yeah so if, if you see now uh, this is my uh, wsh server information getting fetched now okay alternate uh, uh, is trying to uh, alternately do uh, what it is meant to do and uh, it is trying to fetch all the information uh, uh, okay uh, can we say that we are good now i don't know okay uh, Let's let's uh, go ahead and check it once again. The next thing we specifically jump after this is a software distribution folder. Okay, that's the folder which holds each and every information from Windows processes, and it is being used by our SCM also. So you you need to make sure your software distribution folder is healthy and responsive and uh, logging. Uh, Information about the uh, or you can say the uh, Windows update. So like how you have SSM update code. Okay, so let's go and check if software update uh, software uh, distribution folder is in which condition. So it will be there in C drive Windows. Events and 105. So seven minutes before it wrote something. What it wrote? Okay. Okay. It reported our client status, which is good. It was detecting something from the orchestrator. That is also good. So we don't care. Now is the 
the bot. So can you guys see 16th is downloaded something, this particular machine, but what is downloaded? Nothing. You cannot, you, you don't have anything here. Uh, so it's not like after uh, after March, it, uh, it didn't try installing any updates. It tried, it tried downloading something, but it was successful. Now this is the, the data store of uh, software distribution. And uh, this is the uh, log file which you can open and uh, see what is happening. I, I, I don't know why it's empty because I need to find out which one is the latest one. Okay. Okay, I think the files are uh, moved. No? One, two. Okay, I don't know, I don't know something, uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, seeing why I'm unable to open, but uh, it doesn't have any information, fine, you can, you can uh, strike that out, you don't have anything into the data, so log, but, uh, the, but uh, that's how you check the uh, logs in your uh, software distribution. Now, the next step I would uh, like to do is, as uh, all of us, we do, we style, I'm going to, Disable the Windows update. I'm gonna stop this service. I'm gonna rename the uh, software uh, distribution folder and see um, if I'm making any difference here. Yes. And uh, I'm gonna let go and check. So, never delete this folder. Uh, I have seen people doing it, but uh, uh, why, why, uh, why do you do that? It's just in um, MD. So, just make it as old, okay? And uh, so that is so. Hey, deep, 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 deep. Yeah. Aren't you supposed, supposed to stop, stop bits? Service, service, service. service. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, that I'm supposed uh, to stop. Uh, 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 and then you can. Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so I think it will be. It's. Uh, it's all. Already, uh, yeah, it's not required. As no, you can stop the WMI and then you can able to rename it. Anyhow, I can I can do that too. But uh, I was supposed to do only uh, only by stopping Windows update service. Uh, I don't know. So uh, if you no, see, if I'm it won't work. The reason is, okay, um, so the software update folder is not only for updates, it's okay for whatever update means it's, it's used for sometimes for the application management as well, so. Okay, okay. So, uh, thank you, thank you for that, uh, uh, So, yeah, now, now, uh, now you are seeing that I'm trying to uh, rename and uh, it's not allowing, it says that it is open. I think it is because I have opened the log. Yep, I was right. So, so now I'm gonna I, I'm gonna have to enable the WMI and I'm gonna have to start the WMI. Uh, the same goes for Windows updates and the same goes for bits. Yeah, well, bits it can uh, start on its own because bits is start start on demand. Okay, so okay, so now Windows update is started, and uh, now since uh, let me see, bits is also started. Background intelligent. Okay, let me just go ahead and click a start. It can take anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we are good now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, repeat the same exercise and uh, go ahead and uh, see if I'm able to check for updates. Okay, this is I still we have not moved to SSCM. Uh, this is all the traditional troubleshooting which is happening from a normal uh, uh, normal IT guy who is uh, doing the troubleshooting. Uh, he has uh, not jumped. He has not moved himself to. As the same yet, he is still on uh, desktop support, which is me, and I'm doing it right now. 
after some time i'm going to move it to uh, sccm from sccm prospect to see if it is uh, things are in play okay so it's taking a little bit of time this time uh, uh, so is it doing something the i would like to know uh, if it is doing and uh, with that it has oops sorry there was one uh, command here to uh, move everything okay no problem i can do the this okay okay so uh, i'm i um, i might see a lot of things broken okay so i don't see anything broken yet so i'm going to go and check if the okay still checking and it said you are up to date so what does that mean um, it's not allowing us to uh, fetch the updates from internet so uh, or something is getting applied to uh, this particular machine this is not allowing us to uh, uh, go for uh, updates on internet so i'm going to check what is uh, what is the problem and again this is uh, uh, we have not come to uh, sscm yet uh, this is again traditional uh, uh, desktop support guy doing the troubleshooting okay so it will say that what you want to troubleshoot uh, i am going to check for windows updates and uh, according to me it should say uh, no problem found okay let's see okay so it is gonna take a uh, time and it's gonna check okay so troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem yes that's what i expected and uh, if you really want to see the detailed uh, version of it you can click on the so detail and uh, you can see uh, if any component is uh, broken what is detection what is the details it pulled uh, and it's also giving you the publisher background details and all those things here yes. so i didn't find anything so i'm going to go ahead and close this uh, troubleshooter i'm just going to uh give me just one second let me have a glass of water so we can start yeah sorry about that so ha huh, so uh, you ran the troubleshooter and you didn't find anything so what else so uh, uh, what should i do now i am i'm still trying to figure out what is happening and uh, i'm unable to so uh, now i'm going to uh, uh, try to uh, check here and there to find out uh, what is the problem and uh, where we are broke and uh, what are all the settings applied so yes we are so gonna, yeah uh, arun here i had a question uh, yes, when the system says uh, that you are up to date and last checked is today 118 mm -hmm. right which is which is the current time then uh, why do you think that there is a problem because uh, it the system has checked the internet and it probably has got connected to the server from where it takes the updates and it says that you are up to date so i don't think then there is any patch download required on the system yeah, i don't know so I, i might be wrong that, that, that yeah that that's a very good thinking i really love the question actually so yeah why we are doing it so as you see you. uh yes yes as you see uh, uh actually the all who i mean to say the uh, in the troubleshooting world we we see that uh, uh, we assume so uh, i i assume that this machine has a problem because it didn't install any patches of april and may 
so uh, so that ha that that takes uh, how many releases from Microsoft? Uh, if you count, so uh, second Tuesday in April, and uh, for uh, for all, of course for uh, uh, general security update and uh, third Tuesday for uh, supporting updates from Microsoft. If I am <coughs> remembering it correctly, okay. So that's a uh, two cycles, and again uh, jumping to uh, May. Uh, Second Tuesday, that that was somewhere around the uh, 12th of this month, if I'm uh, calculating. So, uh, so th three instances. Okay. So, uh, so uh, you mean to say uh, Microsoft uh, didn't release any patches for Windows 10 uh, or any of the any of the installed software in this particular machine? From after uh, 24th March 2020 is what is the uh, main question in front of us? Mm, right, yeah, that's right. So, so uh, in in that so case, basically, then, just yeah. just to confirm, just to confirm, or uh, just to add on that, right? So this is all about the Microsoft patching cycle, right? So. Normally, if you are a Microsoft uh, support or uh, desktop support or SSCM support, um, okay. the basic idea is Microsoft releases patch every month. If your system is not getting that patch, then there's a problem with your system. It's not a problem with Microsoft because otherwise, like that is a P P1 or uh, some some other issue with the Microsoft service, right? Okay. right. So, uh, so when I uh, when I got the uh, yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for that. So uh, when I when I was checking it and I was uh, trying to set up things, I I noted this problem and uh, at the place of fixing it, I left it as it is. Uh, uh, and why I did? Uh, uh, because I can I can uh, uh, really uh, do a live troubleshooting um, to see uh, how we go step by step, how we jump from left and right, and uh, uh, we can feel the pain of others. Okay, which I'm doing right now. So I'm jumping. I'm not able to find out uh, what is the problem and if it is a real problem or not. As the gentleman just questioned, uh, that if it's saying uh, it's up to date, uh, why are we uh, worried? Because it's said, it's said up to date. Uh, but as Anup also said, and I'm also repeating, uh, uh, we we missed uh, three windows uh, of uh, patch. For this particular machine, and uh, and that's a problem. Now, uh, now if you if you uh, if you are calculating the compliance percentage, this machine is definitely non-compliant, and you're gonna ask your junior to uh, do the troubleshooting, and uh, and this is how he is gonna take it up uh, till uh, till this particular step uh, we have reached. Now, uh, uh, using Windows updates, using all those services, software distribution, uh, and all those uh, uh, troubleshootings we did so far. So, being said that, uh, 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 frankly, fact or practically, even I'm not sure uh, 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 right now what is happening. But uh, yeah, let's find out. That's what we. That's why we are doing this live troubleshooting, right? And this is the. I think this is the best. Uh, this is the best way of uh, learning anything because I also don't know something about the background, what is happening, and even uh, you don't have any idea what is happening right now. So, uh, so I can tell one thing. Uh, so this machine is contacting WSS in internal server. It's not contacting maybe the Microsoft server. Mm -hmm. uh, we can check from the registry key where it is getting pointed out today. And maybe the scan scan from this machine is not yet completed yet, because you no, know, we need to run this uh, software scan cycle. So the scan will be uh, sending the information to uh, SCCM server. It will store in the local WMI as well as uh, data store .edb, uh, so that uh, we can see in the console of SCCM the required patches. At least it has to be one because SCCM client is installed. So we'll see one at least one is required. So then only. It moves to the compliance state. Okay, and uh, so, so then only it will start. Then you can check for the updates. Yeah, and so, so it will see. Praveen. Okay, Praveen. Yeah, so, see, so see, this is why I was, uh, this is why I was, uh, I was talking about be more interactive. So.
so uh, i was uh, i mean this i was double shooting and i was uh, uh, jumping here and there but uh, you gave the correct information like hmm. the, check the, the, the check first register. the uh, yeah. first log we need to check for troubleshooting is like a wua handler dot log so uh, if the uh, scan is failed uh, nothing will goes forward uh, like uh, we need to check no 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 Praveen, Praveen. i think uh, i lost you there because we have not moved to ssm yet uh, we are uh, just doing the traditional troubleshooting from uh, yes, desktop yes. port uh, level so yeah the scan yes. the registry is a, uh, a very good step to check uh, to to find out where it is going for uh, wsps uh, and uh, the scan uh, once we jump to uh, ssm uh, Uh, definitely we're going to check the uh, wa handler and uh, update deployment evaluation scan uh, agent uh, state messages all those things uh, in depth okay but yes this is a good uh, uh, suggestion to check the registry so now if uh, if i remember the registry uh, correctly so i should say sp local machine software like policy I'm just guessing. Okay, that's it. That's it. Hmm. 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 Uh, so, yeah, so now uh, the gentleman said to find out whether uh, it is going to correct WSS, right? Or any other information, okay? So, I don't see those details. I think probably I'm checking in the wrong registry. Possible, okay? And yes, we don't have those information here. To go with for Windows update, you have yeah. to go with uh, HK Local System Software, Microsoft Windows, and then current version, and then Windows update. Yeah, uh, Kanan, I'm sorry. Can you just I, I just okay. Like to, no problem. Yeah. Uh, go to software, Microsoft. Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, Windows. Then current version, mm -hmm. then expand it, then Windows update. And there, and there, yeah, yes, correct. So, so yeah, so I need to check uh, these details. So, right, this is the registry, right? Yep. Okay. So I think we were checking at the uh, Correct registry only. So, so this is a registry, but uh, for that we need to know. Um, for that we need to go and check our CCM registry folder. Okay. So, so yes, I will let it go. Come to the software updates. Okay. So uh, you can see nothing, right? Mm-hmm. Next one, right? Mm. Okay. So uh, I think registry we checked. Now, as the gentleman said, the uh, scan information. So that will be SCM scan information, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, I'm getting up uh, 110 percent that scan is not full. Uh, and scan completed successfully. Okay. Uh, here was uh, for uh, if you can read it. Uh, if you if you can read it, pretty much small. It will say that calling for uh, leaves and bundles. uh this is my ws uh, sorry this is my uh, scp information um 
uh, and uh, against this 8 by 3 zero it's uh, it's scanning so where is this let's go back to that okay so M M E M C M okay C M M E M C M yes actually this is this is the one okay so now I'm gonna go I think I've already opened that so uh, release or revised anything uh, uh, anything to, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, I just uh, specifically jumped directly. You know, I was supposed to go from the flow. Uh, uh, sorry about that. So, yeah, as a gentleman said, uh, scan, check scan and registry. Scan is completed successfully. Registry is also, uh, we checked it uh, seems to be. Okay, uh, one second. Let me just put it back here. Yeah, now uh, we'll be good. So, deployment.log and uh, see. Or in the console, uh, in, the con in the console itself, can you uh, like uh, add a criteria whether the Required greater than equal to one and such the updates. Uh, Deepak, we don't hear you. So how we do the troubleshooting in the client part, uh, this is Kanan. So what I will do is, okay, uh, whenever I'm having an issue with um, uh, update uh, is not detecting or the client is not communicating, means that soft means means uh, applications are working fine when I have issue with software updates. First, I need to ensure that uh, the boundary information is correct. Okay, and then the second one is, okay, I will go with the log flow. Okay, one, the WA handler dot log, okay, as uh, normal, right? So Pravin, Pravin told that. So the uh, Pravin or someone told. Sorry, I forgot the name. Okay, um, the WA did handler log is the first log I will check. Okay, or anyone. Okay, that log will check the scan is started and scan is completing or not. Okay, once a scan is started, okay, then I will check the update store dot log. Okay, what is update store dot log will check. Okay, it will check your site connected WCS server. Okay, it will have the WCS cap file. It will check the updates. Okay, the current updates, the product you have selected in WCS, it will check and then it will scan for the system. Okay, that log will show which are the patches is required to the system or which are the patches is already installed your system. Okay, that log will show the information. Then, and then I go with update deployment dot log. Okay, so whenever, uh, if you check the WDA handler dot log, okay, that time it will check, it will connect to the uh, SUP point. Okay, and then started scanning and it along with that it will scanning with the deployments targeted to your computer okay then that deployments for example you deployed some updates the deployment the deployment has some update id that id okay that id it will it will has that id it will has update needs to be installed means it will say the particular update id okay then that id is needed as per the update store dot log Okay, it, then you have to go with update deployment dot log. Okay, update deployment log will say whether the patch is downloading or not and it's installing or not. That log will show then. Then you have to go with the data transfer dot log which says that whether it's downloading, which DP is getting downloaded. Okay, this is the flow I will follow personally. 
Thank you, Colin. Yep. Yes, it's a great one. Uh, I have a question, uh, Deepak or Kenan. Can I ask it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I'm Yusuf. Uh, uh, thank you for this great uh, session. Uh, just I have a, just a question about uh, triggering Windows update. So Deepak uh, was launched uh, the Windows update from uh, Windows Update City. So uh, I, I, I just to ask if it's uh, the same if uh, we go uh, throughout uh, control uh, control panel configuration manager action tab and launch uh, the two cycle about uh, Windows update deployment. Is it the same or or no? Yeah, is it the same? See, whenever we initiate that uh, software update scan cycle or software update evaluation cycle, so I would strongly recommend to initiate mission policy as well. First, you can initiate the mission policy, then you can initiate the software update deployment evaluation cycle. See, the software update evaluation cycle, it will initiate the scan and it will get installed. Same like evaluation scan, both are doing the same. Instead of you are doing the software update scan, update, update scan cycle, or you can use the software update evaluation cycle. Whenever you initiate the software update evaluation cycle, it will do the scanning. It will do the software update scanning of the machine and let it will see what are the updates are available the machine. Machine updates are available machine. If it's targeted, it start installing it. Okay, thank you. So, wh what if uh, I try and start uh, the Windows update from uh, from Windows setting? Okay, you mean say in the client side? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, generally, I won't uh, prefer to do that. Uh, means means I won't do that because uh, I have a large environment. I'm supporting it, so uh, I always look under the error log based on the client side it means using the SSCM default report I am using the error logs based on that I will go on troubleshooting okay because it's a specific machine so whenever I am having in the specific machine as Deepak explained I will go with uh, the Windows update log as running the PowerShell script then I will I will go to the specific machine error. What is happening in the back end? Definitely there is a communication or there is a broken element on the uh, computer. Then definitely we are as the back side. We are ab easily able to identify from the Windows update red lock and additionally. OK, and additionally, you can check the information on the scan agent dot log from the client side. Okay. Uh, Kanan, uh, Karthik here. Uh, mm -hmm. I think his question was a little bit different. His question was, what is the difference between you trigger uh, the cycle from configuration manager and the difference from where uh, you trigger it from the control panel? I mean, the, the Windows update, the view install update, you know, that section where Deepak was showing. What is the difference for the triggering from there and triggering it from here? That was his question, yes. if I'm not wrong. Yes, it is my question. Yes. It's okay. True. Thank you. Okay, what happens is if you are triggering from the console panel, it's directly connected means console means, for example, come to the first SSCM. If you trigger from the SSCM, it will connect to the specific SUP. It's triggered from the SSCM, right? So all the actions job from SSCM. Sometimes you trigger from Windows, like check updates. Instead of check online update, you have that two options will be there. Check for the update, check for the update using Microsoft Online. Okay, if, if you click check for the updates, what will happen is it will connect to the, it will sometimes it will connect to the SUP. Okay, so that times right, it will check only the policy settings. Sometimes it won't, it depends on the environment, how you set up in the client settings, right? So sometimes if you configure the, depends on the client settings. So if you check for the updates, sometimes it will check your machine is connected, your machines are up to date. Sometimes the scan is completed. Okay, and it's pending for the updates and updates is not installing that times your organization means your mission is missing few more critical updates. You get a message. Okay, it's 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 stages. It's a lot of stages will be there based on the stages. You will get an error notified. So, so just to add on that, right, if, if I understand correctly, 
Uh, it dep- as Kannan mentioned, it's, it depends on your organization. Some of the organizations are kind of blocking uh, the updates directly coming from internet. So probably in some of your organization mission, uh, this update, uh, uh, update uh, Windows update uh, control panel or settings page won't be visible or uh, you cannot do any updates right through this if that is blocked from a group policy uh, level or something. So from a SSEM perspective, it is always like I have seen always like it's better to go with um, our config MGR update in control panel and reinitiate uh, the policies from there rather than doing it from here. But um, I, I don't know, it, it it will get complex like when you have a CMG and you, you asked uh, SSEM agent to deploy, uh, sorry, download the updates directly from uh, cloud services, right? So in that case, that will be a different scenario so it depends on the scenario which you are in so if you have a group policy to block everything from internet probably this this button uh, won't be uh, available to uh, to click to you to click on right so so that is one of the one of one of the scenarios so use of its base it depends on your scenario so there are a lot of options in this right but from a SSEM perspective if you are if your organization is managing uh, software updates or patching from SSEM they are not allowed the, the devices are not allowed to go out to internet to get the patches then uh, you should only look at uh, config MGR applet from the control panel is that is that clear yes Thank you, thank you, Anup. Thank you, Kanan. No worries. Uh, Thanks, Anup. Uh, hi, yeah, uh, this is Ram. Uh, like, uh, so we need when we click on check for updates, uh, like it will only download from cloud source or from internet. So it will not scan SUP. Is that right? So, so check for updates is like uh, updates will get downloaded from internet if group policy is not configured. So is my understanding right? It will not scan internally. It will not I, scan. I don't know. I don't know to it's be honest. Typically, right? uh, I have typically, I have not I have not checked that. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes yeah. I will check rep rep. If we check for updates, there are two options will be available, right? Check for the updates and check for the updates online. If you go for click for the check for the updates, definitely it's not going to connect with the Microsoft. Okay. But if you check for the updates online, okay. If, if you are not configured any group policy, then it will connect with the Microsoft and it's uh, it's get downloaded the requisite patches. Okay, okay. Not All Office right. patches, only Windows 10 patches and with drivers. Okay, okay, thank you. And yeah, that's too clear. Uh, okay, just Kanan, too clear on this here. Uh, Kanan, if I'm not wrong, we had this similar issue on our SCCM primary site server. The updates were not being installed. Then we've opened a ticket with Microsoft. Microsoft, according to Microsoft technical support team, they said check for updates is going to scan against the internet, but it's not going to download or install. It's just going to do the same job, whatever WA handler does. It's not going to download or install anything. That's what Microsoft told us. Oh, okay. But um, I've never experienced that. Whenever I do the scanning, I, I I click sometimes for the testing purpose, including third-party updates or driver updates. Um, but I've never experienced it's going connect with the Microsoft. Probably it's a good one. Let me let me go and troubleshoot further. Yes. Yep. They say yeah, it's going yeah. to check and display and then, all the updates, whatever it's required, and then it's your choice whether you want to install it from there or you can stop installing it. Okay. Uh, again, it says that um, um, it's wrong. Again, it says that okay. Uh, sometimes, see, uh, working on the client environment uh, because my environment is totally blocked. Okay, it won't go out of a single IP. Even uh, some of the policies has been blocked. We have a like kind of we have group policy blocking. Then we have a the external firewall blocking. Then we have a VPN blocking. It's totally typically we are going with point to point tunnel instead of having a multi dns authentications yeah yeah got it uh, kanan so like uh, yeah mostly uh, most of the environments they will be blocking this so just uh, so since this question came i want to just get clear that uh, will this setup will, can we can this when we check for updates here so will that scan sup or not that's that's i want to be clear so yeah 
that's the thing i want to know like it sh- it will only download from internet or is there any chance like we can set up to scan for sup uh that's a good one definitely i am most of the time yeah. i'm not trying it i always go with ssc yeah please yeah <laughs> talking only yeah uh, in, uh, in my in our environment also it is blocked by group policy just some missions if they come out of uh, if they are image missions image servers they some servers will be coming out of ccm for some time so at that time what happens like this check for updates and they are getting installed so that's the thing i want to get that clear thank you kanal okay. yep ram kumar ram kumar just to just to update your uh, just to just to complete that right yeah so for example right ssem client is a different thing right different components ssem client is different component and ssem policies are only triggered through ssem components right so if you check yeah. the overall architecture of ssem right so this is a windows component right yeah yeah this, right this, this is this is windows update agent so basically this is a different agent right so that is handling that is handling windows updates right so yeah, so yeah. i i don't know like how, when you when That's you st- st- update it from here right how it will trigger ssem sup scan right so uh, i could be totally wrong but it's not very logical from my side but i could be totally wrong yeah anup uh, santosh here so uh, just to add to your point i believe is yes. you will not come into yes. picture right when we when we use only windows update agent i don't think is you pre will come into picture uh but okay but i add one yeah. point yeah. here yeah also also when when if if the windows update option is enabled i don't think there is no point in having uh ssem right because windows update when we enable this it will contact the external wss and we will have all the updates which are not uh, tested in uh, any environment and we will have the latest updates so uh, i believe if windows update is enabled no point in having it and also uh, i think sup will not come into picture when windows update uh, is playing the game yeah that's correct you know if you have a group policy setting which you specify like you know specify the update from this in, uh, intranet update location or something like that you know in those lines you know uh, group policy takes higher precedence compared to your ccm settings uh i can add one point here uh so whenever like a scanning policy and registry will change happen only like a, if when you installing ccm client for first time on the machine it will create a local gpo the client itself install like a local gpo to point at wss server no so that the registry key server will change no sccm client will not create any gpo there right see no, let's say no, see yes yeah. yes but i have observed this scenario many times okay because see, you can observe this difference only like a, do not enable any sup on your server and install client so that wss scan policy will not come into the client because sup is not enabled but so, this i see in so many just, of the blogs also just to just so that, to update on that point right so <laughs> just to finish off this topic right so I, i don't know we are not giving deepak chance to explain more <laughs> so i would i would give him a chance but before before finish uh, closing this topic right uh, i i think somebody told sccm is not uh, going to create uh, policies group policies or something right so there are two kinds of policies right local group policy and a domain level group policy right if i understand correctly right so in many cases ssem client creates or uh, creates an entry for local group policy or local policy right so uh, the statement is correct uh, the domain level if you have a domain level policy and if you have a ssem set policy like a local policy which which is uh, which is done uh, set by ssem then the domain level policy will take the precedence so that is why uh, we need to avoid those conflicts i think lot of there, there is a great blog post from jason sandys on this topic 
so he mentioned what are the policies uh, which should be enabled what are the best practices uh, which you should follow when you have um, uh, wsus patching through sscm right so you need to enable this kind of policies and there are a lot of complex scenarios like dual scan dual scan in this right so some of the technologies like dual scan might not work with the traditional group policy settings right so it is it is pretty complex uh, subject i don't uh, like i don't want want to say like i know a hundred percentage of it no i don't know uh, like hundred percentage uh, i i'm not i'm not kind of uh, trying to act like i'm i'm kind i know everything right but yeah th th if you if you look at his blog post you will you will get all the details which you want and you will understand the concept very clearly right so, so over to you uh, deepak Yes, thank, thank you, sir. So, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Anup, sir. So, Kannan, uh, Yusuf, Santos, and uh, Praveen, uh, and uh, one more guy. Uh, first of all, uh, before we jump, uh, and uh, before uh, you guys started doing troubleshooting for uh, WA Handler, or uh, 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 update deployment, or checking data transfer, uh, all those things, uh, First of all, did anyone deploy any patches to this machine uh, so that you, we are jumping to those logs? No, nobody did that actually. So uh, why should I check those logs? And the second, uh, uh, if you see uh, the same machine, I'm going to take it up as an example, and uh, we were unable to uh, fetch any updates. Can you see if uh, I have, uh, uh, it has downloaded and uh, installed uh, latest uh, May updates and it's pending for reboot. Uh, is it my screen visible? Yes. 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 So how, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. do you guys explain that? Uh, actually, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, no. let me just, yeah, let me just uh, again. Uh, I know, uh, and uh, let me just clear the, as Anup already said, let me just clear the dust. So I'm not, uh, I'm also not telling that uh, I, but yes. What happens actually is, uh, the, first of all, the concept we are uh, mixing up with Windows updates and uh, SCM is completely off the chart. And uh, 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 you can say, yeah, so a couple of things like policy. Uh, uh, machine policy or uh, um, you can say app file collection or uh, app deployment evaluation or any other update deployment evaluation cycle or uh, update scan all those things are controlled by SCM triggered by SCM uh, at one place and just uh, leveraging Windows update agent to fetch that particular information from SCM perspective and by SCM that's the only uh, uh, core OS components I'm leveraging to find out what's, what's there, what's not, okay? But uh, first thing, and uh, Anup already cleared the second one, uh, so I think we are good at that. And uh, uh, the, the another gentleman was saying that uh, uh, yeah, SCM is not going to create anything or uh, all those, uh, uh, something I, I think I, I only heard... Uh, uh, that particular part. So as soon as we do all these SCM agent installations and uh, uh, it starts reporting to your uh, primary, it becomes healthy. Uh, whatever the settings you define, client settings you define into your infrastructure, that definitely gets applied to that particular machine. Okay. And secondly, uh, that might be a uh, irrelevant uh, point, but uh, but uh, again, let me put it uh, anyways. Uh, uh, if you notice, uh, if you install SSCM agent in any machine, uh, uh, and uh, uh, suppose you are uh, you are installing it at night, nine o'clock, uh, or what time? It's seven thirty. Uh, at seven thirty, you install and. Uh, um, uh, every and so the, you have enabled uh, the client installation in your infrastructure. Everything all right in place. Uh, if you notice, you are installing the client at 7:30. It's reported uh, healthy on 7:30. Uh, it it is putting all those informations uh, using the CCM eval 
uh, and uh, next day 7:30 it's going to check all those components and uh, uh, perform the evaluation once again to find out if anything is changed and if it is changed uh, i should change it back to how it was so that happens that is still there and uh, we can see that in to uh, tasks uh, schedule uh, schedule tasks uh, uh, enabled by uh, after the sgm agent installation you can specifically read those and uh, you can even see the logs uh, being no, said the, the uh, point there deepak uh, the point what i was trying to make over there was group policy takes higher precedence than whatever you have that, that's the point i was trying to make over there okay, just to clear so, up the confusion yeah yeah so uh, if you, if you have group policy uh, control if you, uh, you could have uh, already seen that i can i can even remember the uh, statement uh, given by ssm is uh, uh, some higher policies are taking uh, uh, over uh, um, it says uh, in your uh, w handler saying that uh, the uh, domain policies are uh, written by higher authority domain controller i can feel if you remember if you have group policy you see that particular error into a w handler uh, i i i may be wrong uh, or i may be correct too but let me i can just let me just one second i Uh, yeah so i think i uh, you probably might uh, would have seen so i, I this is just a random uh, 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 what do you say this is a, just a random uh, search uh, okay so so you would have seen like this am i right is the yeah. local policy and the group policy conflict happen it will come yeah so uh, yeah thank you thank you uh, for backing up uh, so if you uh, the one which you are talking about uh, exactly you will see this group policy settings were overwritten by a higher authority domain controller for particular server blah blah and the whole thing so Uh, it's intelligent enough to say that uh, group policy is breaking your things, so uh, uh, get your group policy fixed and come back and uh, do the scan again, or uh, uh, move this machine out of that particular policy, and it's going to start completing the uh, scan. Okay, and uh, I'm sorry, I just uh, got deviated from the topic. So let me come back. Uh, I think I have only half an hour more, and I have to cover a lot. So uh, uh, let me get started. uh so now uh, earlier i was performing a lot of checks and uh, i was uh, trying to uh, i was trying to uh, uh, fetch the update which was not happening and uh, um, after that i uh, all of a sudden i rename software distribution and all those things and uh, 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 it exposed the may patches and it installed and sending for reboot now the machine uh, probably you can see the screen right so why it happened how it happened uh, i think somebody already raised this but uh, yes, it is the same thing uh, i think i need already explain that so first of all the the, the scan which we were doing at uh, the uh, check we were doing okay is uh, was like this right it was writing something like this check for updates okay so when we are doing this check for updates it's specifically going to wss local wss server and performing the check okay and it's trying to fetch if anything is available using your infrastructure and the setting by given the setting it is uh, going to fetch that internally again and uh, install those patches but uh, those days are uh, over and uh, uh, we don't leave it as it is 
uh, no matter whether we have a ccm or not or any other uh, technology if we want to control that so uh, so what we do now again we uh, we click the second option okay so the uh, second option if uh, if you could have seen uh, there was a small tab here and uh, it was saying uh, check for updates over internet uh you if you would have noticed if you have not noticed uh, uh you can google that check for updates over internet and uh, you're going to get that particular option here just next to your check for updates and the color will be this okay uh now uh, the third point okay i'm going to uh, this is really interesting this is happening interesting okay so if you guys are uh, seeing that this is the policy set by uh i know okay policy set or a device if you see intranet update servicing for uh, detecting updates so it's at this is a group policy so it will never okay and uh, uh, automatically download uh, updates and install on the specific schedule okay again all these are being set by group policy set automatic update option do not allow update different policy to cause scan against windows update so any uh, intelligent uh, uh ccm guy is going to definitely manage these uh using the configured update policy okay and uh, and uh, and that's why you see that these settings are managed by your organization because all this is coming from you and you have enabled it so that's uh, i think that covers the um, Let's cover the policy part. Now let me come back to the uh, uh, to the question by Yusuf and uh, one more gentleman. I forgot the name. Uh, where we were checking and uh, we are not seeing anything. So let me initiate that again. Okay, it will be definitely there if the logs are not overwritten. I hope so because sometimes it does. Okay, so. Return to the same log, uh, which is open already. Uh, sorry, it's not open. Uh, I'm gonna have to, yeah. So I might be wrong, okay, but uh, I think I'm um, correct. So uh, if you see here, if you come a little bit more, uh, you see install call complete. Succeed at one. without errors errors it's a, it's a self explanatory uh, line okay uh, same thing again here for two okay. so it has installed two patches uh, i think yes it has installed two patches so uh, this is how it is getting printed here okay now it will it will say that uh, you have to install and uh, it's uh, it's successfully take the those settings again into the review so we can see here okay uh, it will be somewhere here so restart this device as soon as possible when a restart is required to install an update windows will display a notice before so it says off So that again, this is getting managed, okay? And uh, this you will be seeing a lot, okay? Some settings are managed by your organization. That is, uh, Anup is my organization in our case, and uh, he is uh, doing all these settings, okay? And he has uh, done like don't scan anything locally, but if you go over the internet, yes, you fetch those updates and install it, okay? uh i'm i'm sorry i'm uh, running a little short on time here so i have to jump uh specifically to the, our uh, next topic which was uh, uh which was uh, i think highlighted by kannan and pravin that uh, you have to check uh, for scan then uh, deployment evaluation then machine uh, sorry first machine policy then update scan then uh, deployment evaluation then update store then data uh, data transfer to uh, 
uh, check if uh, it's getting downloaded uh, and content transfer to check uh, from where the content is coming. So uh, uh, just for uh, your information friends that uh, there is no active deployment uh, for this particular machine uh, as of now. Okay. And and if there is no active deployment, it's not gonna scan against anything, and it's gonna evaluate under. Uh, uh, it it's gonna say that uh, evaluation started for uh, uh, zero assignments. Uh, we gonna see that. We will see that too. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty much easy to see. So we can we can just go to update deployment. Okay. Yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna say that uh, evaluation initiated for uh, zero deploy. I'm gonna let it say okay. So CSRC, these are the actions and update deployment evaluation. Oops. Uh, update deployment evaluation. Oops. Okay, I think my SNS service is not good. Yes, as I said, services are not good. Okay, so let me go back, okay, and let me initiate it, okay, initiate. So startup completed, software update deployment, okay, so some deployment is there at least, but it is not mine. I, I didn't deploy anything, so which, whose deployment it is? Uh, very good question. Let's see that. Machine is part of what all deployments we can check. Okay, before we check that, okay, this is what I wanted to do. Just move. Okay. Okay. So. I wanted to discuss actually more because this is a very important topic. And that is why I chose this topic actually at the first place. So, yeah. Uh, dot net and four five five six seven nine nine. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So you guys can see required zero, right? No. Yeah. The floor is all yours. You guys can say why you do. Why do you see that? Uh, and this is your. This is your client, uh, 1909, Windows 10, 1909 version, and this is your KB. It says required zero, installed zero. Why? Let me see. Still, the client was not scanned against the WSS. If it's scanned with the, then it will come as counter. Uh, maybe we didn't give time for client to uh, scan uh, for uh, to scan and update the state messages. It mm -hmm. may be, I may be wrong. Okay, both of you right. <laughs> no, actually, both of you right. So is this a machine co-managed? The update may be deployed through Intune. Okay, so Anup, uh, sir, that goes for you. Actually, it so is. Yeah, I can. I, I, can. I don't know what is co-management. <laughs> no, no. I'm. J I was just joking. No, okay. no. This is not co-managed. Okay. Yeah, and the the answer to the next gentleman. Yes. Uh, now, what should we do uh, to find out? Scan agent. Okay. So if you see, it says scan completed successfully. And uh, as Kannan said, to uh, find out uh, updates are applicable, updates stored. Okay. Find out. Okay. So you can see the um, 
specifically it is performing these many checks installed not installed not applicable uh, not applicable installed it's setting up the state to install so again it's uh, all depends on this guy state message okay so successfully forwarded the query the state message to mp so if anyone remember uh, topic type 1600 and with uh, hey jitesh is logging into this machine <laughs> so uh, and state 2 it has updated uh, nuxer also has logged in so that's how we uh, find out who is logging uh so you can uh, if you guys can read uh, 1600 is the topic id and uh, that's the state 2 now uh, it id uh, f uh, i need to find out uh, i translate to what 1600 Google. Uh, I think it's good. Uh, yeah. So, are uh, you guys? You guys gonna see this? Uh, वेरी गुड रीड अगेन and state id uh, was 2 so you can see state topic id use use the affinity to know so it's not not even uh, going into that uh, check mode it means it's uh, not even reporting compliant not even reporting non compliant so uh, what is wrong so the scan has not reached to your primary uh that's a very good uh, oops, again i'm uh, yeah and so yeah and the same was forwarded to mp so that's why you don't have anything here as required or not or installed or uh, compliant or whatever so uh, uh, states you check whether it's required or not it's installed or not or it how much what is the percentage it is, it is compliant or uh, uh, how much is uh, 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 how many are reporting as uh, downloaded was it deployed or not and this is our patch okay so specifically we should have some information here and at least required should be one because i have one windows 10 which is running 1909 x64 okay yes yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, uh, good. Uh, can, can we know if if we do? Uh, we have done only from the Windows update, right? But we didn't deploy anything from SCM, right? So in this case, uh, will 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 those updates installed be replicated in console? Okay. So do one thing. Okay. Uh, probably just for a test. Uh, I am to say not paying anything, right? So I am just specifically deploying the. Same update itself to my collection. I think I already created that collection last time. It's called test. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry, somebody somebody poked my collection. So, let me just uh, let me just go back. That's a very good uh, uh, question. I'm gonna deploy the specific patch itself. I'm not gonna uh, create software update group or. Uh, 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 deployment package or uh, whatever i'm just directly going to deploy the same update 
and see what happens okay now out of curiosity okay but uh, it's a good question i'm going to i'm going to uh, add a machine here first okay so i i have to uh, go to property i have to go to the membership room i have to do a direct uh, rule i can i can do uh, i can uh, oops sorry let me come on this is very good I am getting uh, getting hang of uh, Noob's lab actually. And uh, now you can see I remember all the IPs and all. So yeah, it's good thing for me. Okay, and yeah, here you go. Let's add it. I'm gonna leave it for uh, 30 seconds now. Okay, and it's gonna. So I'm gonna refresh and it's gonna say awaiting refresh. Yes. And I'm gonna again refresh and it's gonna say update it. Okay. That that's how the infrastructure should be on a click. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's go back to our primary and let's. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, let's go back to our. Uh, Uh, specific task which we are doing, and let's uh, deploy that for the specific patch. As for the gentleman's question, uh, last two weeks, last two weeks, okay. And uh, uh, since since we are running, uh, uh, we are running nineteen zero nine. I'm gonna my specific liquor for 1909. Okay, to save time. Okay, nothing else. Okay, here. So yeah, cumulative is four five five six seven nine nine. Four five five six seven nine nine. Four five five six seven nine nine. And this is the last system, guys. So uh, I wanted it to be. Uh, uh more uh, in depth but uh, i think uh, uh i think how much uh, ever we have done uh, is uh, we are doing fine and uh, uh, soon we'll uh, start with the season 2 and i'm going to uh, cover a lot lot more topics okay so uh, as soon as possible i am putting and uh, this is also i'm putting as soon as possible for the for the gentleman who was asking software update installation I'm not suppressing the reboot. I don't want to do it after the um, for uh, that was for embedded device. I don't need any alerts. Uh, okay, I will not have any deployment package. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a. Uh, I'm gonna let you see it. Okay. You can choose otherwise. No deployment package there, if you don't want. It. I can say then again it's gonna go ahead. To, oh yeah, but that's a very good point. Let it go and uh, download it from internet. This is, I'm not paying for this uh, machine. This is an option. <laughs> so, I'm gonna ask it. I think if the software update is not available on the distribution point, go ahead and uh, download it from internet. and yes it is not downloaded so it's uh, anyhow uh, gonna go ahead to internet and download okay so whoever uh, asked this question and uh, i deployed right is deployed yes downloaded no i think probably i'm covering uh, another topic with it okay Yeah, and if Anup gets a bill, he is gonna send it to you, okay, for uh, download charges. Okay, now I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna for like a good boy. I'm gonna first of all figure my policy and the first thing is to see my policy agent if it is detecting the new deployment. So now 
It's gonna save. So, uh, there are five new policies. To download five policies, let me download. Uh, I can. I think it's uh, downloading something for uh, request config. Yes, and uh, well, parallelly, I'm gonna initiating the scan because I'm uh, I'm uh, believing that uh, the policy has arrived and processed. I'm believing, okay. Now let's see if my belief is uh, coming through. Uh, update scan. I don't have WUA, so I'm gonna see WUA here for the scan. Scan completed successfully, and uh, I'm gonna see again update deployment. Okay, so fail to get so a bit. Okay, so I think it is added to the target list of deployment. You can see it's gonna say that it's already installed. Okay, and it should come out either way. Okay, and it is happening. It's added to the target list of deployment. Or uh, I can reinitiate, but it's gonna, it's gonna. Okay, here you go. You can see it is. Oh, it's, uh, it's even downloading a couple of more new. What? Detect job completion. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. It is uh, downloading March patch. Uh, 2020 and uh, KBID 4451760 and it's accumulated. So I think it could have been uh, definitely standalone. So let's see what happens. Uh, and it says uh, um, it says applicable or not. Now we have to go. You should see update store, okay? And update handler, obviously. So you see the scan was completed and uh, and initiated and completed. So we can move back to a bit store. This was also querying the status completed successfully. So it has uh, specifically checked for each and every update and it says already exist and uh, will modify existing instances so we are good so i'm going to go back to uh, update deployment which i was uh, checking initiated the deployment and it is uh, probably trying to download so again as uh, kanan said content transfer manager so I think it has done data transfer for uh, where it's gone to download. Successfully completed download. Yes, good. So we are in good hands. And uh, last. HWUA again. So uh, scan is completed successfully. So I think probably we should just wait and uh, see for the how the deployment coming and uh, uh, how it reports. Uh, meanwhile, I can quickly check the download key. I'm gonna check that. So. Uh, name. Oh, management agent. Sorry, I keep forgetting this. Disconnect. 
Okay, I'm sorry, I think I have to open it as a administrator. I just want to see the download queue. I'm curious what it's downloading. Okay, so root CCM after management agents, uh, you go enumerate classes, recursive, uh, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you see what's the download constant instance. So there is nothing. Okay, instance of download content request, there is nothing. Uh, uh, location content request, there is nothing. Oops. So info so there will be nothing okay good so i think it has processed the queue that's why you are not seeing anything so it will be successful uh and actually am i right yes i am you can see it has already uh, already printed that it has detected and it has completed the detection job so i think we are good and, and this is again four five five one seven six two. Okay, this is a different path. Okay, so I think we are uh, we are uh, we are doing pretty well, and uh, uh, we have two more minutes so before this uh, download completes. And uh, uh, again, we have to go over the question and answer uh, before we go there. Actually. Let me just reboot it because I did uh, install view patches. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. So somebody is using, and uh, I think I'm I'm gonna leave it uh, for Anup to restart later. Uh, uh, sir, this uh, I, uh, I just installed this couple of two patches and. Uh, you are you have. You have the full power to restart. No <laughs> okay, so, so yeah, uh, and uh, now the question comes is, uh, I I uh, I deployed something and after that I just rebooted my machine. What happens? So nothing happens. Actually, it's gonna come back. It's gonna reconnect to the same uh, evaluation job as it triggers and. Uh, it's gonna pick up from where it left. That's the advantage of SCM. Okay. So that covered uh, patch deployment and troubleshooting from uh, desktop perspective and from SCM administrator perspective, uh, which we gave only 45 minutes and the first one hour 15 minutes we took for a uh, uh, desktop support engineer. I wanted, uh, wantedly, I did that because. Uh, I wanted you guys to see how we were uh, troubleshooting in our uh, when we were system in a desktop support, and uh, um, I think the intentions were uh, completed, and uh, we are finishing. Let's see if the server comes up and uh, the floor is open for questions. Please go ahead. Thank you, John. Yeah, hi. Uh, so this might be a silly question, but you know, uh, how can we uh, access the uh, Windows? Yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. So uh, if you guys uh, if you guys read, uh, I think it has Anup has mentioned there is nothing called silly question. Anup has already <laughs> written that in uh, capital letters. Okay. So uh, I have so wanted. Yeah, yeah I, I know that. I wantedly I'm saying uh, like this. So there is nothing. <laughs> Like silly question, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. So the question is like, you know, how can we um, access the Windows Update uh, dot log remotely of the Windows 10 machine? Like here, you know, we see that uh, the method is, is changed to read the the Windows Update dot log. So uh, we, I want to access the Windows Update dot log from the remote machine of the remote machine. So how can I do that? A very good question, my friend. And I think I have uh, I've already told in the last session, and I'm again telling in this session too. Uh, 
there is a huge uh, there is a very pretty good blog available uh, i am not saying this because uh, i use that uh, and i'm used to that i'm saying because that's uh, in depth information okay uh, uh, if you see uh, collect <laughs> collect you see to collect uh, log okay i think that's the uh, yeah uh, you can you can uh, uh, specifically read this this has a very good uh, in depth oops sorry yeah in depth information available here learn how to collect ssm logs using config manager console okay does that answer your question sir mm -hmm. yeah yeah thank you yeah next please hi deepak nagraj here yes sir uh Uh, in in my environment of after deploying uh, 25 days or uh, 28 days also or 20% of the machines it showing as a unknown still the deployment completed also the 20% of the machines it showing as unknown but okay. policies everything it's uh, communicating everything it's showing as a policy evaluation everything it's showing as a uh, last login time everything it's showing the current date policy completion everything it's showing the current date but uh, it's showing as a unknown state only 20% okay. of the machines so you are checking this into the uh, into the compliance state of the machine uh, and yeah. are, uh, yes compliance state of the uh, deployment compliance state in deployment status okay and it says uh, enforcement <coughs> state unknown right yes enforcement status is unknown but mm -hmm. when we check the last uh, policy uh, evaluation everything it's showing to current date only everything is done but uh, uh, deployment is showing as unknown only so uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, state message says on uh, any of those machines uh, whether uh, 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 302 topic id 2 state id 2 is uh, compliant uh apart from that anything else is not good for us uh yeah about 302 topic id 3 or 4 is a pending system restart even that is considered as uh, good but uh, apart from that anything else uh 2100 topic id 3 is uh, uh, uh enforcement state unknown if i am uh, if i am remembering it correctly uh okay so this is this is specifically related to your state messages and uh, check in the even we are yeah, yeah you are right thanks for your update even we are not getting the state messages also for the those machines i can say so can you can you check uh, can you check uh, what is the client setting defined uh, okay time interval in your infrastructure to forward the state of those uh, clients Uh, okay. I'm pretty much I'm pretty much sure it is configured properly because uh, 80% are uh, reporting compliant and uh, yes. only yeah and only these 20% are uh, not reporting so these are all the culprits so uh, I would start uh, looking up uh, on the uh, state message part and uh, if I may say you can go to Google and type some refresh compliance. Okay. <coughs> sure. Thanks. And one more thing. Um, please go ahead. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done with the. Uh, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you do some refresh compliance, this is a uh, Microsoft uh, uh, state message resetting. You can say or uh, reforwarding uh, uh, script. Okay. Uh, uh, you can you can just copy this and you can uh, save it as a VBS and you can try running into the client and see if it's changing the state. Okay. Sure, sure. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah. Next, and, and one more thing for the same. When we, uh, I have deployed the uh, around fifty uh, k machines, mm -hmm. but when we generating the report, <laughs> hello, are you yeah. able to hear me? Yes, yes. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Um, yeah, yeah I'm... sorry. Yeah, uh, we have deployed the fifty k machines. When I am generating the report using the SQL query, I am getting mm -hmm. around thirty. Uh, 5k machines only, even including unknown, all the compliance, non, non, uh, any, everything, all the machines. I am getting the general report only 38k machines. So I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, if I understood the question correctly, you have deployed for 15,000 machines, and uh, yes. when you when you pulling the report, you you are saying it's uh, 
uh, pulling up as a uh, 30000 machines yeah when we getting the using the same collection name we are mm-hmm. getting the only 38k machines we deployed 50k machines only windows 10 machines but we are getting the uh, all the machines 38k only okay so fifth, okay i'm sorry i was uh, i was calculating um, uh 15 it's not 15 it's 50 50 so, yeah 50 so, so 12000 machines you don't have any information right yes right? and you don't have any compliance data for those uh, no there is not a uh, net data fetching from the database again uh, yeah did you check the client okay. is active and healthy yes the client, client is yes. Uh, yeah oh, healthy yeah. it's showing as a yeah, Uh, active and uh, those machines yeah. we have checked policy yeah. evalu- policy everything it's uh, yeah. showing as a current day, time and date okay. but uh, when we whether i am not sure but whether the what i am using the query is wrong or not just i want to know this curiosity that's the thing you know uh, uh, you know nagraj right it was, it was, yes yeah. correct uh, so uh, uh, what i would suggest is uh, let's let's uh, uh, It seems like you are stuck with some uh, something. Let's uh, post, please post it to the uh, uh, how to manage devices dot com. And uh, sure, sure. I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna uh, clear this, the steps how to uh, how to come to a conclusion what is wrong. Okay. Okay. Sure, that should be great, uh, Deepak. Yeah, I I would log I would uh, require a couple of logs from you. Uh, okay. Uh, which you can upload there in uh, how to manage devices and uh, so that everybody sure. can uh, react to what you are trying to do and uh, they can even they can refer the same. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, hi, uh, yeah, hi, Deepak. Uh, I have. Uh, uh, I need to know uh, the uh, process of supersedence. So, like, I have a uh, uh, ADR in place. So, like, when uh, uh software update points synchronizes it uh, uh it shows uh, in the software update group i can see the superseded updates okay that is in the uh, uh, that is configured to adr so that software update group uh, inside that i can see the superseded updates um and later when we run the adr when adr evaluates so it supersedes all the updates it replaces that so that is fine uh, i am fine with the adr process but we have a roll up collection wherein we will move uh, all the so in roll up collection we will have all month update that is a, a yearly update so we will move updates manually to that so in that roll up collections there is superseded updates so that uh, sqg is L, uh, showing in yellow color right so normally so i am moving current month update to that uh, roll up collection and still in that roll up collection i see the superseded updates and this so eight uh, uh, the ram kumar this is not ram kumar right yeah it's me it's it's ram kumar yeah ram, i have also uh, yeah ram gave it to stop yeah really yeah, really uh, uh, put us in uh, you can see your replies on the screen right now anup has already given one arijit then you have replied then anup again replied then uh, again you ask question then again anup replied then arijit also replied then again anup replied then again i replied uh, uh, yeah, and i asked a couple of these uh, screenshots okay and uh, you yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, i'm uh, we are we are going to take it up off the record actually this uh, this thread is still active okay so uh, your question <laughs> can you okay? You already taken our time. <laughs> okay. okay. So, yeah, I was not able to communicate clearly in the from like my communication is breaking, so that's the reason I want to take up here. That that's fine. That's all pretty good, and we are doing good. We are coming to something. Okay, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I think yeah. you can see how you can see how how I uh, put questions on top of my mind. I directly <laughs> opened your question, okay, Ram Kumar. and uh, i i can remember because i have followed it i have kept it into my follow up <laughs> so i uh, have uh, yeah i have i'm not clear on the topic actually so that's the thing i'm uh, asking those questions silly questions ram kumar we are in good direction and we'll continue okay uh, sure thank you thank you so much give the floor for others okay thank you thank you so much
uh, okay, next guys. Uh, Hi, uh, Devi. Uh, uh, probably yes, last question, uh, uh, Anup sir. Uh, what do you say? Probably last uh, question or second last. It, it's it's up to you, Deepak. Uh, I am <laughs> really, really uh, thirsty and really hungry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, sec- last two questions. Yeah. Yeah, Anup sir, Deepak. So, there is one question. So, any any way to find out if the Windows update agent is healthy? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, that's a that's a pretty much uh, uh, straightforward. Uh, uh, Windows update uh, is healthy or not? I think uh, 